Hey gang, um, sorry I haven't been around in a while. I was going to come back on and do a kind of a, a run through of making some three by three cards. But what's happened is I decided I wanted to deal with this whole bin of um, scraps. This one here. And I still have all of these to go through. And I was going to show you what I'm doing. I, if it's a fairly big piece, like this one is five and a half. I think these are five. These are four by five and a quarter. These are um, three by sixes. And these are the ones that I would use one of these as my base for a card. Um, I do have some in here that are printed somewhere. There's some that have like that. But you could do like a little uh, card and then use a piece of um, plain on the inside to write on. Just make a little place to write. But I got all different sizes. And what I do is like this one. I would take this scrap and I would measure how wide is it this way. It's almost to the two and a half. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and trim it at two and a half. Like that. And then I'll make a two, bunch of two and a half inch squares, or however many I get. And I have a pile. These are two and a half inch. And that one's not really square that way. Let's see if this uh, corner's any better. Not really. Well, let's see. Sometimes this. This trimmer seems to act a little funny. Maybe it's, well, I guess it's close enough. This side is a little long, maybe. There we go. So that, that was like that. That's really kind of weird, but, all right. But I'll do that for each one. This one's like close to the three and a half. This way I have a stack that's all the same size and I can say, okay, if I make a card and I use a three and a half, then I could maybe, you know, put it on top of this, this one here and then put it on a base and there would be a card. It's just a, a fast way to do it. You know, and then I've got these ones here. I think these are two inch squares. You could do a six by six card and line some of these up, different ones, and just make it like a tile card. Or if you've got cards like this, pieces of paper, just cut it to where it be, this is a five and a half inch square, so I could make a six by six card and mat this and be done. And that's all I'm really doing. I tried to do a video last night to update you all about this, but um, the camera was acting weird. Speaking of, let me look at it. Okay, the little bits like this, save them in a pile for banners. So this one's looking like it wants to be a 4x4 four four square. Even that side out. Turn it. I got my 4x4s four four over there. This doesn't look very big. So I'll save that. That could be... Um, some of the ones that are fatter, you know, things like this make good banners. Things like this are good to use with your die cuts and punches. So you're using every little bit. And in here, I have, um, so I had a bunch of green paper all in this. And so I cut out some Martha Stewart leaves. And I cut out some of these rose leaves. And this is by... McGill, and then I had this little teeny oak leaf, and I just cut up, punched out a bunch of them from just these little scraps. So I'm using every little bit. And the pink and the red and the burgundy type ones, I'll probably use my um, diamond dye flower dyes and just get a bunch of them cut out. And so that's what I wanted to share with you. That's how I'm going to take care of these scraps. And then I'm going to get one of the photo boxes, you know, the, the 
it's a storage box that has the little boxes inside it. And that way I can put these each in their own box by size. And so then I can do a card making session. Um, and we'll do that. Um, oh, Scott got me an, another um, HD card for my camera because he felt bad that I was having to delete things to be able to do anything. So he bought me another card for my birthday yesterday. And I want to wish, you know, everybody that knows me on Facebook as well as on YouTube here that took the time to wish me happy birthday, I was just so tickled. It was so nice to get all those wonderful birthday wishes yesterday. And um, I just appreciated it so much. And y'all are so awesome. It was a good day. This one I won't cut up because it's an adhesive paper. I don't cut those into just little bits because you can't really punch them. But I just thought I would catch up with you guys. I'm sorry I've been kind of missing in action. I was supposed to be off from work last week, um, Thursday and Friday. But I ended up working six and seven hours those days instead. So... It was, it was a good thing, because I've got this furnace to pay for. But, you know, you just, you never know what a week may hold, that's for sure. And then uh, next week, I'm taking the week off, but not by choice. It's, I've been called for jury duty. So that's why I'm taking next week off. Let's see if we can do a five and a quarter by four. Is it going to let me do five and a quarter by four? Because that would give me an instant card front. And that's what that pile is. So, anyway, I guess I'll let you all go. I'm going to cut on these for a while. I can't stand here too long because this table is really too low. It needs to be up another eight to ten inches so that my back doesn't get strained. Because, you know, when you're reaching down this far, you tend to lean into it. And I get sore. So I'm going to let you guys go. Bye.